welcome back to TFC Modcraft. All right. Well, as you can see here, just sort of checking in on things down here. And the supply of biofuel is now currently full. As a matter of fact, it's so full that the still has filled up. It's backed up into the still and the fermenters are full, completely backed up. So this is actually great. So there's plenty of it available. And over here, you notice that the oil supply is very low. And that's fine. It's entirely possible that by next episode, these things might start to get empty. That would be good. And we can start routing biofuel in here to start burning that instead of the oil. That much is great. Okay, now heading upstairs to update on everything up here of what's going on. Let's see. Uh, I don't think there's anything big going on here. Uh, no, not really. Just, let's see, the ash is starting to build up again. And how is the peat supply finally getting back up there a bit? And starting to get a decent supply of propolis here. I'm going to let it pile up some more. Uh, I'm not actually sure that it's a great idea to be using a whole lot of the bituminous peat. Anyway, up here, starting to collect a good amount of UU matter. That machine that I built last time out over here to uh, make iridium and iridium plates. I turned it off for the time being because, uh, well, I had this thing turned off for a while while these guys charged up. It's running now, and it's already emptied out two and almost a half of this one, so it's going, and the recyclers are going. And when I started the machine up a little while ago, this chest was filled with scrap and of course that thing went through it pretty quickly anywho there is a little something here uh actually uh i want to stop by let me stop by this uh thomcraft chest in here let's see uh i want some crystals Let's make sure I leave uh, at least one of each kind. That'll, that'll do. There's some of each kind in there. That's the main thing. And, yeah, that, that should do right there. All right, let's head over this way. Back to the Thomcraft facility. Okay, there is some things I want to do. Like, for example, these tools right here. Complete, almost totally worn out. They need to be repaired. And there is a way to do that. Uh, let's see. Just a second. I have to check a reference. Okay. Yeah, I, I had to look up uh, a recipe or two because they're not in NEI. And that makes it a real pain. And you have to go hunting on the Internet to find these old recipes that don't show up anywhere else. Anyway... First thing I need to do is I need some, uh, crap, I need some pistons. Okay, not a problem. I can get a bunch of them right here. All right, craft, pistons. Give me half a stack of them. Oh, heck, give me two half a stacks. All right, I'm going to get my pistons and uh, a few other odds and ends, and I'll be back. Okay, hopefully I've got everything together, but at least if I don't, it's a quick trip back to get it. Okay, now let's see. I need some animated pistons, and the way to do that, you've got some, uh, let's see, I need the vaporous crystals. Let's throw a half a stack of those in there, and a half a stack of gold, and a half a stack of pistons. And I'm going to have to get over here and drop some obsidian in there to provide the raw material to do that with. Okay. 
go ahead and grab a few of these. Now what I need here for this part, let's see, I need some enchanted wood. I've got that in here? Yeah, I'm going to have to make up some more of that. Okay. Of course, at least this device I only need one of. For the moment, anyway, yeah. Thomic Restore. Now, this is a nice little gadget, and I believe it runs on Vs. So we'll hook it up there. And if I take, for example, Sword of Zephyr and throw it in there, it's going to start using Vs to repair it and re restore its durability. Shovel Renewal, Axe of the Stream. Let's throw those in there, too. And they'll get repaired and dropped back over here, and everything will be great. Okay, is that about done? Oh, I ran out of uh, these. Well, that's why I made sure to have lots of obsidian. As a matter of fact, drop another one in there. Because if I recall correctly, this one is the... Uh, the thomium crystals that can't overflow. So that's cool. And how's that doing? Alright, great. Alright. Uh, trying to find it here. I hate it when this happens. I'm going to end up having to restart. I'll be back. All right, and we're back. And uh, what I ended up having to do is I have to end up, exit the game and go into the save folder and delete the NEI dat file and then restart. And then I can re-enable NEI and everything's fine. Now, this is the thing I want. Thomic Duplicator. Couple more animated pistons, some gold enchanted wood. All right, I've got all of that. How about that? All right. Okay. I may actually want more of these, but this will do for right now. This little guy is very cool. Simple interface. You put the item you want duplicated here. This is one time or repeat. And what you produce ends up in here. And, uh, yeah. You can pump stuff out of this with like a wooden pipe and a redstone engine. Great. All right. Uh, that's all. Okay. Whoa. Don't fall into that. All right, get that all powered up. This is all done. All right, uh, what do we got here? Uh, let's see, does this work in this version? Yes, it does. Good. All right, so if I put a diamond in here, this thing is going to use Vs to turn that into a diamond. And it's, use, and it's running off pure Vs. You see? That's cool. And it sucks. It basically, you're using the Vs to turn it into a diamond. That's great. Now, suppose you're not generating Vs by throwing obsidian into that or whatever. Like, for example... Um, Okay. That was the sound of it completing. All right, that's fine. Uh, condenser. Vs condenser. Here we are. Conduit, Vs crystal, iron, and wood. I'm going to need more of this enchanted wood. So let's just get some going. Um, let's see, what's the, 
Okay. Whoa. Great wood work will work. Uh, just throw in any old crystal. And that will produce more of the wood. All right, great. Uh, let's see. Where was I? The Vise condenser. All right, so some iron. Any old crystal. Some conduit. Some enchanted wood. Hello. All right, maybe it needs a specific crystal. Okay. Oh, come on. I really wish I didn't have this clicking like crazy thing. Vs condenser. All right. Now we pop this sucker down here. And if we throw a Vs crystal in here, it will start producing Vs. Let's set this to reset to repeat. And just let that go. I'm going to break this for the moment. So now this thing is producing Vs. Is it? Maybe I need to have like... Pop this here and use a conduit between them. about this run this out this way Have we got any more sections of tank V storage tank cool okay it is producing V's slowly it's just grabbing it out of the atmosphere and popping it into the tank which is fine and there is uh, there's some things I can do this can have a couple of upgrades. I believe a Quicksilver core will speed it up in one respect. Uh, let's see. Let's... Core, Quicksilver core, but it doesn't show the recipe. So that means I have to go hunt it up online. I will be right back. Okay, got it. And I even have a few slabs. Good. Some vaporous crystals. Oh, I got those already. And Quicksilver, which I just want to add some in here. Huh. Okay. Well, I know how to get it. You take the cinnabar and you smelt it. Hello. Yeah, come on, world. Load. All right, so I'll just throw this in here. All right, that's enough for right now. So... Let's see. Slabs, Vapor's Crystal, Quicksilver, and that will get me Quicksilver Cores. It increases the speed of the atomic device it's attached to, including things like the Vs Condenser. That'll get me four of them to start with. And we'll just 
You can already see it appears to work faster. And let's see. Can I put two of them on there? Apparently not. Okay. So if I were to build a bunch of these things and then set them up with crystals, not necessarily all the same kind, mind you, but it's whatever kind of crystals. Yeah, all right. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to make up a bunch of these things. And uh, the Quicksilver cores. And I need to do a little bit of research. There's another core I can put in here in this second slot that will make it work better. So I, I need to do that. And uh, I will do that research and make up a bunch of stuff. And I will be right back. Okay, I'm starting to get things organized here. And I figured out that when I had the crash, it set me back several minutes. And uh, all the stuff that I had restored, it got unrestored. Yeah. That's just beautiful. Uh, not too huge of a deal though I did get a little bit better storage set up well more storage not necessarily better but more anyway this is proving that it worked it's pulled uh, 143 V's out of the air off of the one crystal that I gave it now there's more that I can do here And I'm just going to go ahead and break that. It'll spill the taint, the, the vise into the air, but that won't be bad. All right, let's look at these things repaired. I've got the duplicator in here. All my animated pistons I was making. Poof, they're gone. Ah, that's right. It's uh, Vapor's Crystals, Gold, and Pistons. See, I have a half a stack of Pistons. I had a stack of Pistons. Oy. All right, Pistons. And I got my Crystals up here now. And the Gold. It's that, that, and there we go. Because I know I'm going to need those things. Uh, let's see. These condensers. I should make a bunch more of these. Let's see. Yeah, they're cheap enough. These crystal, iron, and the wood. I did get some more of the wood made. And some iron and the these crystals. All right, these, oh, the conduit, conduit. All right, conduit. And the iron. That ought to be enough of them. It's probably too many, but better to have extras, I always say. Uh, let's see. There, that's all well and good. I don't know. It sounds like wood with an axe speed it up. Yeah, good. All right. Um, there's a few more things. Uh, let's see. Let I got a stomach duplicator. I got the restore. I've got the duplicator. There, there was something else. I've got these condensers. I got a few quicksilver cores. I was going to be making more of those. I'm trying to look up how to do that. Oh. Uh, see, I had it. Quicksilver core, okay. Slab, vaporous, and quicksilver. 
Oh, you serious? That's all? Of course. Yeah. All right. I'll run back here. Let's see. Thumbcraft. One in there just so that it has a place to go. Get me two stacks of that stuff. And that'll get me a bunch of quicksilver real quick. And I need a bunch of slabs. There we go. I know to do pretty good. Okay. Okay, there's those, there's slabs, and the quicksilver. Hello? Oh, vaporous crystals, yeah. Oh, out of fuel. Alright, have some fuel. Alright, that will get me those. And then stabilized singularity, which is slab, earthen crystal, and an arcane singularity. And the arcane singularity is alimentum and nitor. Now, alimentum, I know, is redstone and coal in this machine. Alright, I'm going to make up a bunch of nitor, alimentum, stabilized singularities, and so on. Get all the things I need, and we'll get out to the test site and actually start doing something here. You know, I was just getting almost finished up with the things I wanted to get made for uh, what I want to do. And I notice I have something of a problem. You'll notice the V's tank is a lot shorter than it was originally. That's because I've been taking the empty sections of it off and putting it over here to store the massive amounts of tank that have been collecting, you know, in the process of this. Because uh, when you throw something in there, it cooks down. You get taint, it gets sucked over there. And you get V's, it gets sucked over here. And that's great. But... I haven't been using the taint because the only machine that uses it is this dark infuser and it doesn't use that awfully much. So, basically, I've got a toxic waste problem. Now, I would just use the portal gun to, uh, you know, its gravity gun feature and pick the thing up and carry it to where I want to use it and that would be fine but I can't you can't do that so this means that I need to take a bit of a step aside here and uh, I have to deal with my toxic waste problem because this is getting nasty so I'm going to have to uh, well you know the uh, taint cleanup mechanism I put back in the tainted area a while quite a while back I'm going to go get that mechanism and bring it here. All right. I think what I need to do is just... Uh, hmm. Why does that seem just a little clunky? It does. Okay. I'll just do it out this way. Okay. Uh, let's see. We've got these purifiers. We've got condenser. I won't need this condenser. Vis pump. Uh... 
but is that the right direction? Um, I'd say probably not. Okay. Throw a hunk of pipe down here. Beast pump. Face it this way. Yeah, all right. As I recall, Vs going through these things gets destroyed. And then put a tank out here. Let's throw a little light here. We don't want any spawns. That ought to do it. Oh, wait a minute. I may actually need to have the pump down here by the tank. Um, yeah. Oh, for crying out loud. Those are a pain in the butt to make. Okay, so tubing, those guys, pump, more tube, oh come on now. I know this is how it was set up over at the other site. This has got 20 ta tank TCB or suction value or whatever. It should be able to pull it out of here. The amount of taint in the tank is not going down. Ugh. Yeah, actually the stream. All right. Maybe two pumps. One on this end, one on this end. With the... Uh, purifiers in the middle. Let me get things arranged and I'll be back. Okay, seems to be working. We have tank coming in here and it could only have come from here. And as it passes through these things, they do destroy some of it. Of course, I'm making it a whole lot faster than this thing can destroy it. And... There's a question about this, because this tank is going to be full, and then it's going to start filling to that one. Hmm. I can see a need for another pump. Pipe coming out of here. Pump it back over here. Pump it back into this tank, or just into this line there. And uh, circle it around. Keep looping it through. That might be an idea. Hmm.
okay. Now, if there was a pump here extracting from this tank and sending it down that way, to kind of create a loop. And of course, that's almost full already. So let's take this tank, or a couple of them, run them over here. Yeah, I think I've got some more of that conduit over here. A little bit. Yes, I need another pump. All right. Feast pump. Oh, you're one of the few that actually gives a recipe. All right. Arcane bellows. All right. Leather enchanted wood crystal, yada, yada. All right, there's leather. Vaporous crystal, wood, one iron. Stop that. Okay. Four wood. All right, and then the pump itself, aqueous crystal, six wood, and a conduit. All right. Oh, it's flowing that way on its own now that the tank is full. The overflow. Okay, so the overflow is coming back through here. Um, it looks like it's spilling. Is that dripping out of that pipe? <laughs> okay, that could be nasty. But it's getting cycled back through the purifiers. So over time, it should go away. It should just be eliminated. Have I got anything I build with? Good grief. Not that I need to build much. There. Right. Yes, I know. Nasty mess. Pump. No. Okay, I'm going to get really annoyed. There. That ensures that stuff is pumped out of that tank and sent this way. Comes down here. This catches it, sends it back through here. So it's getting cycled through the purifiers. Excess that doesn't get purified goes in here. And so on. I can even take a few more of these off. No more, though. Okay. This should serve as a uh, slow-moving tank cleanup system. It's 
kind of cute the way it drips like that. I wonder if that drip means the pipe is leaking or if that's just there for visual effect. You know, say, I am a pipe full of some kind of liquid, but you don't want me spilling all over the place, so I'm going to drip. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> totally crazy. Okay, unfortunately, this mess, uh, along with my difficulties in getting prepped, have delayed uh, what I wanted to do till next episode, because I've pretty well used up all my time. But next time out, uh, I want to take uh, the machines that I've put together. Well, this stuff here, and the stomach crystallizer is another one. It's a pretty cool one, because you pop this thing down here, you pop, uh, it got room for like a quicksilver core to speed it up, and you feed it depleted crystals. And it pulls Vs. It uses Vs to restore depleted crystals into something that you can use again. And that's cool. And uh, so that's another thing I'll be using over there. And so, got a pretty good idea what I want to try to do there. And I think this is going to do a decent job of, uh, over time, getting rid of the massive excess of taint. You can see the number is going down slowly. So I figure it's going to work. It's not going to be excessively fast, but it'll work. I could probably speed it up if I were to put more of these purifiers in here. Like if I made eight more of them and uh, made it 16 long or two lines of eight, whatever. And uh, then it might be able to do it at a much better rate. I don't know. But there we go. Taint excess removal. All right, next time, I'm going to start the process of making a really serious mess. Thanks for watching. Take it easy. I am out of here.